A rock garden is exactly that. It's a garden full of rocks. And these things are gonna be biting at your tires. They're tricky to ride, they're complex. They can be a multitude of lines. Now, if you're riding blue trails, even say red trails, you're probably not gonna find them. But on blacks and double blacks, they're gonna be there for sure. And these things are gnarly. If you watch downhill racing, you'll see the riders having to tackle them top of the track all the way down to the bottom. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you might tackle them and how to pick the smoothest line. So, let's get to it. Jeez, looks pretty gnarly. The first tip that I'm gonna give you when you pull up to a rock garden is to get off your bike. Put your bike to the side, make sure that it is off the trail, and go and investigate the actual rock garden itself. There's three key sort of points you want to be looking for. You want to be looking for the most direct line, the smoothest line, and of course, the safest line. So let's take a look at this section just down here and see what works out best. On the right hand side of the screen, you can see that it's the safest option. It's also the longest way. Going straight down the middle is by far the fastest, but it's got the biggest risk. There's some rocks you're gonna hit and it could really push you offline. However, going all the way left is a combination of both. It's a little bit smoother, it's safer, and it is also pretty direct, bringing you into the next corner with a lot of speed. But through this section, there's a couple of big rocks that could potentially buck you on the bike, causing you to get out of the shape in the bike and if you don't tackle them correctly, so what I really want to talk about here is how you're going to get the correct body position. To demonstrate what I really mean is think of it as if your legs and your arms are locked and fixed in position. Although your suspension is going to absorb some of the biggest hit, the chances are that if your body is not synced and connected to the bike, then you won't be in control. If you naturally use your body to pump and work what is beneath you, then you'll automatically find your flow to get through the terrain in the safest, smoothest, and most efficient manner. So how are you gonna get into that loose and relaxed position to tackle those rock gardens? My first point really comes from the heels. So you want to drop them back and get your weight back over the rear end of the bike. And you want to keep your legs loose as well, sort of almost in a like squatting position. Your hips have got to be loose from side to side to counteract those side forces. Keep that torso tight, so really your stomach muscles tight, your shoulders back, and you want to work with the shoulders so your arms are still bent. And then you want to just be a little bit loose on the grips. You want to be really holding on tight. That's gonna give you arm pump. And what you wanna do is pull all of that together. So then you've got like a really relaxed position on the bike. You're feeling comfortable, strong, and confident. And that is what is gonna allow you to tackle those rock gardens in the fastest manner. My big tip is if you are gonna get off the bike and actually walk down the rock garden, walk down it. By walking up it, you're automatically identifying some of the sharper and the bigger rocks. If you walk down it, you can actually see almost where your tires are gonna be rolling and how they can catch the downsides. Other things to think about are things at the side of the trail, like these stumps, sort of the sharper rocks that could just catch you. And quite often in a downhill race, you actually see that these are spray painted in a fluorescent pink or even an orange paint, just to identify them, let the riders know that there is a slight, kind of a caution almost, you could say, and just to make them aware of it. The really cool thing about rock gardens is that they allow for a little bit of creativity. If I go down the main line, which is right down here, then you know it's the same. It's fast, but I can come up to my right hand side here and jump off of this thing, clearing this bunch of rocks, landing down there and accelerating into that next section. So why not when you're riding the rock gardens, just look for a few different lines and maybe jump from features to feature and you'll be having a lot of fun. Woo! So there you have it some tips for how you might tackle rock guns. It's all about technique, body position, and of course, line choice. If you want to watch some more videos from GMBN, why don't you click just down there for pro tips with Nico Mullally for riding through rocks. And if you click down there, you're gonna to get to learn how to pump. And after you've watched them, you probably want to click on subscribe, which is somewhere just behind me right there. And you'll get a great video every day of the week.